Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in once again. As you can tell, we're back to the lovely MQB platform. Today, we're gonna show you the differences of running meth injection and no meth injection. Right off the get go, I'm gonna tell you, I would hope to see some gains with meth injection, if not just colder, denser air. So, to go over what's done in this car at the moment, it is running our True Flex Fuel tomb with the E85, of course, downpipe, colder intake, upgraded diverter valve, upgraded front mount intercooler, upgraded high pressure fuel pump, and we are running multi-port injection. That's right, guys. We've been knocking out the documentation and a lot of progress has been made. With that being said, let's jump into this. Let's show you the data. Should you get meth injection if you're full 85? Let's go find out. We got a 2020 Q8. I got the stage two TCU on both platforms. I am in love. I can't wait to go stage two. All right, guys, here is the good data you've been waiting for. So, meth injection off, overlaying with meth injection on. Engine RPMs, this is intake air temperature. So, dotted line with, which means meth injection on, we're starting at 42 Celsius and dropping to 28 Celsius. So, 14 to 10 Celsius drop. That's pretty decent. I'm um, coming over here, starting at 40 Celsius and then ending at 34. So we got a six Celsius difference um, between the two on this first run. And now getting into the second run here, as you can see, we waited pretty close to the same amount of time for the next run. We're starting at with meth injection on 40 Celsius, dropping down to 28 is our lowest. That's a pretty decent drop. Um, now going over here, we're starting at 43 Celsius and continuing, I mean, the lowest you're gonna see here is 38 Celsius. So we have about what, six to seven Celsius difference here. As you guys can see, we're 43 Celsius starting and then the lowest point is 38. So what, a six Celsius difference between the start of the run to the end of the run, starting at 40 Celsius with meth injection on, dropping all the way to 28 Celsius a 12 Celsius difference. I mean, just showing you guys very comparable runs here. The difference between the two is 10 Celsius. So you guys can see there is a drastic difference with meth injection on. We're squirting in 500 cc's. If you guys don't know what Celsius is, right around here, we're at 80 Fahrenheit on the meth injection on. And right here at the end of the run, we're at 100. So you have a 20 Fahrenheit degree difference. Let's make sure boost and timing is the same between all the tunes. So you guys can see that we're not changing any data. Everything is very consistent. The boost was the same between all the tunes here. Ignition timing was the same for all tunes. The difference between the two was one degree of timing running the same boost. Now let's go over to the dyno. All right guys, here are the dyno results. Meth injection on is green. Meth injection off is white. 
This is very surprising to see this data, but honestly, I'm not going to mark it up as meth injection off really lost power. I mean, how is that possible? We're bringing in colder, denser air, but no, this is the onset of boost. This is not drastic. This is five horsepower. We'll look at the other run to make sure this is very comparable. But what we're looking at is 4,000 RPMs on. This is when you full throttle, the car downshifts, you're getting right into the power band here. The difference between the two, five horsepower, and then as soon as we get to the top, we're all the same, maybe gaining one horsepower. It's not really that big of a difference with meth injection on. Let's go to the next run here. This is the first run showing you the difference between the two. Still very similar right here, gaining nine horsepower, but this is the peak of onset of boost. I'm not gonna look at that and say there's a difference. We got about six horsepower difference. Green is with meth injection on. So the first run, we're not heat soaked, we're making good power, but as soon as we get to the top end guys, it's dead identical. So let's go over our consensus. All right, guys, you now have the data. We are looking at the data logs and the dyno to see what was the improvement with running meth injection. As you already know, we're running meth, so we're gonna have colder air temperatures. We saw a 20 Fahrenheit degree difference. That's a lot, but did we gain power? No, we did not gain power. And I wouldn't say we really lost power. We're running full 85, guys. That is a cold burning gas. I'm maxing out timing. I would not hope to see a gain. I mean, I was kind of hoping so with colder, dense air, but no, that was not the case. So if you guys are running full E85, I wouldn't suggest meth injection unless you're tracking your car and you know it's gonna be hot. Just to let you guys know, we're at a DA of 1500 with 90 degrees and 50% humidity. That is disgusting. So this thing did very well with the meth injection. In my climate, I'm running meth injection. Let's go put some 93 in this thing and show you some real improvement because on 93, I can't run maximum best timing. With that being said, guys, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you would do this different. And like always, stay BDT tuned.